it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey everyone, it's Stephen here with StudyClicks and in this video I want to show you how to solve and plot linear inequalities. So what we'll do is we'll just take a look at three scenarios that will cover all our bases for this. First up I'm going to solve for x and element of n which are the natural numbers and sketch your solution on a number line. We have 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 4. Now let me tell you, see when we're dealing with these linear inequalities you're going to basically treat it like a linear equation. You're going to try and get the letters on the left hand side and the numbers on the right and you're just going to almost imagine the inequality sign like an equal sign. So let's start solving here. We want to get x on its own on the left, so I'll add 5 to both sides. And then I'll divide both sides by 3. Here I get x is less than or equal to 3. So this means x, which is a natural number in the question, and the natural numbers are the positive whole numbers, excluding 0. So x is less than or equal to 3. Now I want you to think of the positive whole numbers that are less than or equal to 3. Well, you have 3, 2 and 1. And what we want to do is take this wee set and plot it on a number line. I'll set my number line up here. There I have a wee snippet of a number line and I want to plot the numbers 3, 2 and 1 here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the coloured in dot and place it on each of those whole numbers. And anyone looking at this number line now knows that the solution here is x is less than or equal to 3. We've numbers on 3, 2 and 1 and x is a natural number here because we've not included 0. Moving on to a busier scenario, we're asked here to solve for x an element of z, which is the integers, which is our positive and negative whole numbers. And we want to sketch our solution on the number line. We've 3x plus 12 is greater than 4x plus 20. We've an x on both sides of the inequalities here, so we've a bit of work to do. What I'm going to do is just start solving as if if it was an equation, I'm going to get the letters to the left and the numbers to the right. You can see here I'm at a point where I have minus x is greater than 8. Now I know most people will think we need to get x on its own here, so I have to divide across by minus 1. And you're dead right, we do have to divide or multiply across by minus 1 here. But when we do that, we need to pay attention to the one and only rule we need to learn about inequalities. And that is when you multiply or divide across by a negative number, the inequality symbol flips. It changes direction. So watch what happens here. We have minus x divided by minus 1, which gives me x. Because I've divided by a minus, the greater than symbol flips to a less than symbol, changes direction. And then I have 8 divided by minus 1, which is minus 8. And there I have my answer. So that's a very important rule, folks. When you divide across by that minus, flip the inequality sign. Now, let's plot this on a number line. I have x is less than minus 8 and x is an integer. So what are the positive and negative whole numbers that are less than 8? Well, you have minus 9, minus 10, minus 11, and it keeps going down towards minus infinity. So what we'll do is we'll set up a number line here and get plotting this. So you can see here I have a wee snippet of the number line and because we're dealing with integers we're going to use dots on the whole numbers similar to the natural numbers. So I'm going to put a coloured in dot on minus 9, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13 and we know we'd keep on going forever there so I'm just going to draw a wee arrow in the direction that the movement keeps going. It keeps going down towards negative infinity. Notice that I don't have a dot on minus 8 because we're less than minus 8 here in this question. Last up, let's throw this situation into the real numbers where I'm asked to solve for x an element of the reals and sketch your solution on a number line. So just a gentle reminder that or are your real numbers are every number on the number line. It's every number. Positive, negative, whole, fractions, decimals, the works. So we have 2x plus 22 is greater than 5x plus 10. I'm going to get solving here. Now I have minus 3x is greater than minus 12 here. I'm going to divide both sides by minus 3. And I now know that when I do that, the inequality is going to flip. So I'm going to get x, flip the inequality to less than, and minus 12 divided by minus 3 is 4. So now my solution here is x is less than 4. So to plot this on a number line, we're going to plot all the numbers below or less than 4. So, because the real numbers include every possible number, we're going to be using a coloured in line here. But we're going to mark off our starting point. We're less than 4 here, so I'm going to put an open circle on 4. And I'm going to include all the numbers below 4 by using a shaded line the whole way down the number line. So I'm using the shaded line to represent all the numbers less than 4. And because the solution keeps going down towards minus infinity, I'm going to draw an arrow in the direction of the movement. There's only one more way this question could vary, and that's hypothetically if in the question they had a greater to 
or equal to sign instead of just a greater than sign. So let's just say we had a greater to or equal to the whole way down, meaning our solution would be x is less than or equal to four. Now to plot x is less than or equal to four is very similar to x is less than four, but this time we have to include four because it's less than or equal to four. So the only thing we'd change in our solution is that we'd color in the dot on the number four. So you can see there would have a colored in dot if we had a less than or equal to sign. However, we don't have that scenario here and our solution is x is less than four. So you can see our answer will just look like that. Overall folks, that's it dealing with inequalities. It's the exact same essentially as solving equations. However, the only thing you need to remember is that when you multiply or divide across by a negative number, the inequality sign will flip.